Let's look at another service, and this time one that uses SVC, Scalable Video Coding. So I ran a test here, the same, we've got a media server of one of the CPAS vendors that uses uh, SVC. I did a call with two participants, two probes or two browsers, got these results. Let's just drill down to one of the browsers here. So this is a group call with just two participants. We've got the highlights here, but let's dive in. So if I look at the channels, we've got one incoming opus for audio and outgoing opus for audio, and then we've got VP9 incoming and outgoing. And you can see that the outgoing is of a higher bitrate, 1.4 megabit versus 800 kilobit per second. How is that possible? That's because what we're sending is SVC, scalable video coding. The SFU, the media server, is taking that stream and then it rips out some of the layers out of it and it sends a lower bitrate to the other participant. And that's what we see, okay? So we've got the incoming bitrate at about 800, one megabit per second here. And then 1.5 is what we get for the outgoing. We're sending more than we're receiving. And here is a question for you. Is that a good thing if I have only two participants? I'm sending data and the receiver receives only part of what I'm sending. So I'm wasting too much energy and too much network on the uplink, which is not what you'd expect. And this is why sometimes SVC is not the right approach and you need to optimize the media server to fit your needs. Go check out testrtc.com and what we're doing, where you can run testing and monitoring for your WebRTC applications. Thank you.